I am triggered right now. How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and... <sighs> so, I just finished watching a uh, couple of BG Mike videos, and came across a couple recent uploaded ones, almost back-to-back. -back. Two days apart, I believe. Um... For those of you who know what I'm talking about, probably clicked on this, seeing, wondering what the reaction was. For those who don't know what I'm referring to, I'll have links to both videos in the description down below. Um, I recommend going and watching those before watching this. So, this particular video is actually going to specifically talk about the first of the two. Um, it'll also, I'll also bring up a couple things I found on the BG Mike subreddit that I wanted to talk and kind of review as well. Uh, but for right now, I watched the video, kind of took some notes. I've got a notebook with basically the email that was sent to, well, some of the emails that were sent to Mike himself, and I wanted to talk about that. So, the mom um, referred to in this, you guys who are still watching this either already know, or just in case you decide not to click away and you're watching this anyway, let me explain. So, in the email, I kind of copy and pasted this. It's stated that she was a mother of two from California. Great, wonderful detail. The only reason that matters is stated later on, I guess. This woman's son, which we already know is David, talks to her about the channel. And she gets finally an educational channel? What, did he talk about he was learning something? I mean, I guess you can learn some things from gamers. You actually paid attention but no no just no you want you want an educational channel go watch legal eagle you might need it actually now that I'm thinking about it and I'm gonna do my best by the way to not swear in this video I generally do but for the sake of this is like um, a reaction to what was done to BG Mike and his is a family friendly channel. I'm going to try my best to try to avoid swearing. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was her thought originally, as stated. And then, sees the title Doing Anything It Takes to Be Rich. A rich, spoiled brat in bit life. Now, those who know BJ Mike already know that he hates, he doesn't condone that kind of thing, IRL. And she hates him for it. For the title. Really? Did you even click on the video? Obviously not, because the next thing she claim she ne the next thing she sees and looks at a different video, as if it was just coincidence, and she. Ironically, looks at one that apparently is worse if it were IRL. <sighs> Why not watch the video? You'll find out that it's just a game, and he's acting, having fun, playing a game. Wouldn't reflect reality at all as much a stereotype likes others to believe that. I've met gamers. In person, I would know this. Gamers are actually much kinder than people like to believe. Consider this. I know of some gamers who have done so much charity work in their lifetime that you try to shoot them down and you'll have millions of people shooting you down for it. Uh, 
Anyway, so there's that. But doesn't stop there. Nope, that's not enough. Because later on, the claim of not allowing her children on her computer anymore because of it. Great, you're the mom. You're allowed to do that. That's fine. But you blame Biju Mike for them doing this in the first place, for the fact that they still get on. How is it his fault? How in any way is he to blame for your children deciding to get on your computer? Several things you can do to change this. One, change the password. Two, put the computer out of their reach. Two major things you can do. You don't do them. Because you don't think. But we've already figured this out by the fact that you treat his videos like they're a freaking book. You look at it and go, this is bad content because it doesn't have the best thumbnail. Yeah. You don't know what I'm talking about, then you obviously haven't seen his videos. I'm going to be very vague, try to be vague about that, just so I can try to get you guys to go watch his video and what his thoughts are on it. But in comparison, it wouldn't surprise me if I showed you the book. I'm not going to show the cover of it at all, but the book for copyright reason. But this book is actually The School for Good and Evil. It shows a girl with black hair, looks kind of goth, looks like a witch and a girl with blonde hair wearing a pink dress. You would think she's a princess. And if you look at the background of the book, it shows a castle with lightning, obviously a witch's castle, if you've seen past stuff, and a castle belonging to a princess. Now you would think, it must be a children-friendly book, right? It must be about learning about how to be a good princess and a good witch for a fairy tale the kids can read. No. That's where the idea came from, but that's not even close. First of all, spoiler alert for those who haven't read the book, and I do recommend it if you like fantasy. It's really well written. Um, spoiler alert for the story. Five. Four, three, two, one. I'm like having a hard time with my fingers here. <laughs> anyway, the girl who you think is the witch ends up being the princess and vice versa. For more mental reasons, actually. But the point in that is this woman... The mom, we don't know her name, or at least I don't. Maybe Mike does, but I don't. Uh, maybe some other people are shouting at me, but I haven't done deep research on this. I This is first-hand reaction to when I first saw the videos, or at least the first one. She doesn't even pay heed at all. She doesn't look into the details. She doesn't read the story. She just assumes. Same with this book. You'd probably assume it'd be for a kid, and once you once you actually, the kids read it, they'd be like, oh, no, not again. Because, again, spoiler alert. In one of the chapters, one of the main characters, the two characters that I listed, end up naked. Entirely nude. Either that, or they're stripped down, which would not... I think it's actually that they're stripped down. Either way, they're not in proper clothing. They're not modest. The book is for 8 plus, as it claims. But the only reason it's not more, and a lot of nude writing, is usually 12 plus or 13 plus, which is weird to me. But I've read books that end up being that way. Like Harry Potter. Anybody who hasn't read it by now, sorry. But in one of the Harry Potter, in Deathly Hallows, there's nudity. What is the rating for it? 12 plus. Hmm. Seem kind of odd. Not really. In any case, though, yeah, you, you don't... My point is, 
even even if I'm wrong with the ratings, my point is you can't just judge a book, or in this case a video, by its cover, A.K. again in this case, thumbnail. Now I'm looking down because I'm looking down at my computer that still has YouTube rung up at the moment. Um, but it won't be that case for very long. It's actually I'm pulling up Reddit now. There. Ready? Well, actually no, I just pulled up Reddit is what it should be saying. But anyway, continuing with this. Particularly stating again, she cl she claims, quote, it's your fault my children now disobey me. Remember the term children in this case. It'd be important for what my thoughts are later on, and you probably already know what it is if you've seen the video that BG Mike put up. The first one, again, because this is only going to be in direct um, reaction to the first one. <sighs> but remember that term, children. Not child, children. And then she su and then here's the big kicker. She suggests a public apology or else she's going to sue take legal actions when in reality she can't. She has no capability of doing that. It's either because she can't afford it or she's boast she's Bluffing, which let's be honest, it once once I look once I look through everything, she's most likely bluffing about this. She can't do it, and if she can, then the lawyer said no, because there's no real law against it. He's doing his job. That's it. There is no law being broken. Now, I don't live in California like she does. However, neither does Biju Mike. Biju Mike is not even in the U.S. And all of us know this. And if he is, he's not originally from it, so he's not accustomed to our laws if he is. But I, from what, I remember, from what I'm informed, he's not in the U.S. at all. He's in the E.U., completely different law set to an extent but especially on these terms and it doesn't matter anyway he hasn't broken any laws even here or in California there are no laws being broken but I can't say the same for this woman <sighs> reason I'm going to skip a little bit of this just because I'm trying to keep a point a valid point in a narrow pathway or a linear pathway later on she he receives emails from two other people the daughter or the sister of David sister of David daughter of the mom who I can't remember it, the name was mentioned in the second video but I cannot remember it for the life of me right now um yell at me for it I don't really care it's not the point but she the sister writes an email that states that I'm just summarizing this I didn't keep note of the exact thing she said but she finds disgust in his video she thinks that now this one I did actually put slight quotes not quotes but pretty close she claims that he used some kind of stalking footage in re probably in regards to one of the videos he watched which he mentions in his in his video talking about this and he says and I quote what bothers me is that you have to go hide from your mother to go watch those videos. Honestly, there are only two scenarios that would work here. And he points out one of them, which is she's forcing her to write all this. And she claims that her mom is not forcing her, but I don't know. I have a hard time believing that. One reason, 
remember what I said a little bit ago? Not too long from now, saying, keep in mind one specific statement. My children are disobeying me, not my child. And the fact that she has two kids. If this is true, then there are two major scenarios, and the mom made a big mistake. The mom is writing this in her daughter's email, which would make sense since she would, she does probably have access to her children's emails. Or two, she actually is forcing her child to do this, which is illegal. Anywhere! And honestly, I think, based off the mindset, now this is speculation, this one right here, I think either one could be equally possible, but the way this whole scenario is going, and the way the mom has claimed things, like when she slips up in this particular email basement, she slips up that she has put her son in her basement. Stops at the end, dot dot dot, room. Come on, lady, how stupid do you think people... Well, that's a harsh thing to say, but... If you're going to claim to go to the police, you would have already done it. You're From all the evidence gathered, you are a very strict mother who doesn't consider any real facts. Now, Mike, this particular statement is directed towards you. Based off the information I gathered from... I didn't even read off everything. The only thing I haven't pointed out, which I will point out in a sec after I say this, um, don't worry. Don't worry too much. Do worry, obviously, but don't stress out too much about it because this woman is lying to you. Using... And this evidence piles up to claim this. If I'm wrong... Then you've got multiple people, as you claimed, against you, but illegally. For one, this doctor that was mentioned. Again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the video, the first video. Again, just as another reminder, I have a link to the first one in the description below. I said at the beginning I was going to do the second one, but I'll do that in, an, in the video where I talk about the second video. Um... But the doctor claims a couple of things, like basically the same thing the mom claims. But this quote-unquote doctor, Dr. Smith, how unoriginal can you be, first of all, and second of all, makes a giant fatal flaw. And this is why I think it's the mom and not a real doctor. Actually, it makes me definitely think it's not a real doctor, because no matter what, through mental action, through the actions of professionalism, doctors always do one specific thing. They'll always put, like, PhD or stuff like that to quote what kind of doctor they are and if they did that I would high bet anything Mike would have put it in the video because he probably would have commented on that saying okay you have a PhD makes a lot of sense why you would go against me on this or he would comment like specific ones have specific knowledge we all know this or everyone who has actually gone to college for this kind of stuff would know this, and you would direct that. And there was nothing there. Just Dr. Smith. David's doctor. That's it. Nothing else. That on its own is illegal. That is taking the position of a legitimate doctor and claiming yourself to be one. That is identity theft. Fraud. Not theft. Fraud. Still, doing that can get you so many years in prison. Anywhere in the States. 
I live in Utah, but I know some people who are from California. I could just talk to them like that, and they'll be able to tell me how wrong this is. No matter where you go, that is illegal. Here, at least, in the U.S. It's probably illegal in the U.K., too, or the E.U., I should say, because honestly, it doesn't come to mind directly where uh, Mike lives right now. But that's aside from the point. He does not live in California, so he does not abide by the laws of California. But, again, fatal flaw. The signature on the name stated, only Dr. Smith. An unoriginal name that you can find in a lot of movies, stereotypical name, and no PhD, no DR, like comma DR, because that actually is a thing, no CNA or NA or whatever you go by, which wouldn't make sense, but still, or LN or CN or whatever your nurse title is. I don't know what it is in California, but still, no, no title was put. It always is supposed to be. Always. That is kind of a law factor. That just outright proves that he is not a legitimate doctor. Or, honestly, what I think is going on is it's the mom. That's what I think is going on, because the guy talked way too similar to how the mom talks. If you look, if you go to his video and scan through the emails that are placed by the mom, the daughter or sister, and the doctor, the wording is almost exactly the same. So honestly, personally, let's say the mom is brainwashing the daughter. She likes Biju Mike. She does. So it's either the mom is forcing the daughter to do that, or it's the mom doing it, which is identity theft. And then again, the doctor, as I stated already, identity theft. Both of these are illegal. Get you time in prison. You can't hide this kind of stuff, you know. The way she phrased the letter, the emails, under the assumption that it is the mom for all three. She slipped up with the doctor thing and the basement thing. Come on, lady. Really? You're horrible at hiding things. At least for me. And say it was another person. You probably asked these favors from whoever actually wrote the letter, but it's obviously not a real doctor, and if it is, made a vital error that could get that doctor fired. One thing that you do not do, and I know this because I study this topic under many circumstances, is you do not threaten other people. Especially when they aren't physically or mentally involved in a way that's going to actually damage the health of somebody. Was the health of your child damaged? No! Not in any way. Actually, from what I gather, Biju Mike made David happier, not depressed. So that crosses out the mental state, and then physically, could he possibly physically damage him? All the way my... I don't even want to count how many miles away. It's impossible. It is outright impossible. Calling the police on somebody who doesn't even live in the state, which is what was claimed, there's no back of evidence that would work. None. Zero. Claims that it is bad YouTube footage? Please. I can list at least ten people who are worse than Biju Mike. Just by one thing. Swearing. And yes, they'll play things that have nudity, but they'll do the exact same thing. As, and, I mean, they'll block it, because YouTube does not allow that, and when they do, it is strictly forbidden. There's an 18 plus thing. If they're watching it, say they do have an account, it's most likely that the 18 plus is put up. 
I don't think your kids would want to watch nudity. They'll probably not want to watch swearing either. That's why they watch him. He does not swear. The only thing he would probably say that some might consider swearing, depending on their religion, would be God. But again, that depends. It really depends. Most don't think so, but there are some. I know because I've met this. I've met some who do that. But that's like the that's a giant difference. Every YouTuber who's a gamer respects that policy of no nude visuals. And even when there are bras or underwear, depending on the the um, gender, still they'll put up blocks. Sensor blocks. Because otherwise, get this, there's something on YouTube called flagging. Well, not flag, you, you guys know what I mean. Well, the mom doesn't, but everybody else watching knows what I mean. You can report the video to YouTube, and they'll review it. If they find it suitable, they'll leave it alone. If they find what you're saying accurate, then they'll take action. Talk to the company, not the employee. Talk to the higher-ups, not the workers. Because there's nothing the workers can do about it. They just make their content for the entertainment of millions up to, I don't know, almost a hundred million people, more at this point. And what I'm referring to is what I was talking about earlier. The people who are worse. PewDiePie, for example. The original gamer. Or the one who made it popular. PewDiePie. Or Felix Gelberg. He swears up a storm. Well, he used to, at least. He doesn't do it as frequently, and when he does, he blurs it out. He beeps it out. Or his editor does, I should say. Most of the time. There are some videos where it still doesn't happen. But generally, he's a Christian channel now. With his past footage still being the same, but his current goals are trying to be that way. Or at least they were. I don't know if he still is. I haven't watched his videos in a while. But there's him. There's channels that are along the thousands that I watch, like Versus. <laughs> I can't think of a video where they don't swear. Or make sexual joke. Well, okay, there are several videos where they don't make sexual jokes. But that was their past. That was in the past. They did it all the time. And those are, honestly, videos people love to watch. For the entertainment. Not the education. Again, you want education, go watch Legal Eagle. I mean, for the mom, you need it. You need that kind of education. But for kids... People like Biju Mike, Razbowski, Daco, 8-Bit Gaming, Gaming Entertainment, stuff like that, they're family friendly for this particular purpose. You are in, ma the, for the mom, you are insane. You are insane to think that you're going to find some kind of channel that suits your liking. It doesn't exist anywhere the education one's great but what you want them to just sit around the house doing basically nothing all day watching educational films because kids love those please Biju Mike does his job well Mike I condone what you do and again don't s I really I honestly think you shouldn't stress out too much over this because in the long haul, with all evidence piling up against her, she's going to lose this battle one way or the other. Not to say you shouldn't fight for yourself. What you're doing is right. What you're doing is good. You do good for people. Keep that in mind. I have been subscribed to BG Mike for... <sighs> How long now? <laughs> Years. Um, It's been long enough to where... Let's... I have a memory time span of about three, four years now, maybe. And I believe throughout most of that time, I can't remember the exact year. I think it was three years ago when I started watching his videos. Yeah, three years ago. Um, 
because it was not long after that where he started doing Yandere Simulator. It was when it, that that's okay. I can confirm this. Maybe I'm wrong, but it was it was about a month before he started doing the Yandere Simulator stuff. But either way, now I could be completely wrong about the time. Anyway, um. He does a good job of what he does. He's very family friendly. Yes, the jokes he makes can come off as inappropriate to parents sometimes. I've grown to learn this. I've shown him to some people and they're like, don't show this to a specific age group of people, which is fine. It's understandable, but age restrictions. You could seriously just set those simple as that but nope either way though Mike don't stop doing what you're doing never stop don't ever give up it's not worth it to even bot it's not worth it to uh, worry too deeply about something that's going to fail it's not hard for me to tell that what sh what this mom is trying to do is going to fail. The, o the there are two major things I'm worried about though. If these actions keep up, those two children are going to end up in the system, and no one likes that. It's a horrible experience for anybody. I've met enough people to be able to build up this kind of knowledge. I have several friends who have gone through this system and have come out of it with a horrible mindset. They change over time depending on the people they're around, but it's still a horrible experience because it's the, it's the mental state. No one wants to put someone in that kind of situation. So that's one of the things I would be worried about if this falls through the way I think it would, which would make a lot of sense. She can't keep doing this. Her actions are illegal one way or the other. It doesn't matter how you look at it because the evidence piles up against her. Um, but, that aside, there's also the situation of... these other emails. And this has happened before, where, honestly, the outcome ends up leaving the convicted alone. Or not the convicted, the accused. Sorry, that's way different. Well, not way different, but it's different. The accused ends up being let off the hook. I can name two other situations where this has happened. Yandere Simulator and Doki Doki Literature Club. For those of you who know what I'm talking about, remember these. But for those who don't... I'll use Doki Doki as an example because that one's more recent. Doki Doki Literature Club um, was played by thousands of people. It became extremely popular for how it was a psychological horror game. But here's the kicker. It was a psychological horror game. Shocker, right? Apparently to parents, they didn't even consider that over in the EU. Somebody tried to take legal action against Dan Salvato because of it. Now those of you who already are going, oh, you mean that? Yes, I mean that. For those who still don't know what I'm talking about, there was a 15-year-old child who tried, who committed suicide, and they were playing the game prior to this. Now there's no, aside from the fact that they were playing the game beforehand, there's no evidence to support the claim of that the game caused them to do it. It doesn't, there are circumstances where that would make sense, but it didn't matter. For one reason. Two or three, I believe it was three times actually. Either way, multiple times, Dan Salvato puts at the beginning of the game, if you have any kind of depression or disabilities that can cause harm in that kind of surrounding, suicidal thoughts, like that kind of thing, don't play the game. He states it like two or three times. If you play past that, that is not his fault. That is why that one got off the hook. I don't know much about the Yandere Simulator one because I actually learned about it through um, Biju Mike himself. But 
I just know basically the same scenario happened, and it's ridiculous. Where does this all core? Parents blaming others for things that are not directly their fault. That's where this core's on, and it's ridiculous. Biju Mike even stated himself that these... This mom wasn't the only mom who emailed poor, like, angered emails towards him. He had several. And that's where it becomes... That's... This is where the whole thing collapses. The parents who do this do not think things through. And I'm not even talking about this direct mom anymore. Mike, this is why I'm saying... Don't worry too much about it. Please. You've got so many people backing you up now. I'm like one of probably hundreds at this point of videos that are going up trying to support you. These kind of people need to rethink their mind mindset. And if they can't do that, simple. Simple solution to all this. Click out of the video. Restrict websites. It's seriously as simple as that. As I mentioned way earlier on in this video. But they don't do it. Instead, they blame people like you. And that's not necessary. You are a great person. We all love, all of us scrubs love you dearly we all care about you we want you to continue making your footage screw what these other people say it's not up to them what you do this is your job this is your career we all know you love doing this but we can all see also we can all see the strain and stress in your eyes as you're going through this I can say this for myself, and I'm sure a lot of scrubs will agree with me. You're not alone. We'll all back you up. Till the end. For right now, that's all I'm going to say about the matter. I'll probably put up a video in regard... Maybe, maybe. I might put up a video. I might not. Depends on the situation. But either way, maybe I'll put up a video in regards to the second half, where it talks, if I remember correctly, it talks about a response email... Um, claiming involving school and expulsion, which is ridiculous. But that's either going to be a discussion for another day, or it'll be left. Because this was a little bit more detail onto what was going on, and this is where it gets utterly... That's I saw that, and that's where I was like, you know what? Her initial reaction was dumb enough, and it is. It's extremely stupid. Going to authorities won't do anything, but she tries to threaten with it anyway, it's not going to work. Just because he's from another, completely another country, and it's like the Fort, it's like the whole Fortnite, um, P PUBG thing. No one wins. Because one sues the other, and say they win. Say she wins this lawsuit. He can then sue her, and he would win under his law front, and nothing will happen. It'd be pointless outright pointless but that's under that scenario it's basically the same same kind of idea either way though i'm going to end this rant here for now um let me know what you guys think um in the comments below what you th what you guys if you haven't posted a video or anything if you have um just say um, just say you have, I guess. And I, I want to check out all these videos directly, honestly. I want to see what other people think about this scenario, because it's ridiculous. I'm basically just taking... If I only thought, like, logic only, then... Well, that's basically what you got. Logic with some opinion. But if I only threw my own opinion, there would have been a lot of bad words. Let's put it that way. I don't want to do that. But either way, it's still ridiculous. And I'm on repeat now, so I'm going to stop. Let me know what you guys think of this situation down below. If you haven't checked out the videos, again, the video. I'll put both just in case. Um, but if you haven't checked the videos for those, uh, they'll be in the description below. 
the top video of the two will be the first one you'll want to watch because it discusses um, <clears throat> what originally happened, like what the original response at was from Mike. Um, he actually posted the second one not too long ago. I think the original the original of the two was posted two days ago. A little bit over that time. Anyway, though, yeah, I'm going to leave this here. Again, let me know what you guys think. I'm probably going to start doing a little more rant videos on this kind of stuff, on more serious topics like this, because it's just getting out of hand with everything going on. It's stupid. However, that'll be for another day. So thank you guys again for thank you guys for watching. Um, if you agree with what I think on this entire scenario, or you think any of the uh, sp call it speculation, call it evidence building up to create kind of a a solution to what it might actually these scenarios might be. Um, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. I'd really like to hear. As I said before. In any case, for now, I'm out and I'll talk I'll see you guys later. Bye.